I heard the heartfelt words of those who experienced the tragedy of the atom bomb and witnessed the moment of destruction. I realized what nuclear war can do. It wasn't until I saw the skeleton of the dome in Hiroshima as a reminder of the devastation and until I saw the lanterns floating on the river representing the spirits of those who died trying to escape the pain of their burns. It was only then did I realize the atrocity of this insidious bomb. When I saw the hypercenter in Nagasaki from the top of the mountain, I remembered the voice of a survivor sharing his memory of what he saw at age 12 and how he had to bury his entire family. Can you imagine how nuclear technology has advanced over 60 years since the first atom bomb in 1945? Never before or after has a nuclear bomb been used since that day. It remains a threat to the world today. Humankind has the capacity to annihilate itself with nuclear warfare. This threat should be eliminated as a means of control over countries or people. The words love and peace are powerful words. We must feel love for our human family to continue to survive. And we must find peaceful ways to solve our differences. Peace and love are like air and water. We need them to survive.